hope you're all doing well and enjoying the brand new year. So I uh, wish a happy one to everyone. And today I just wanted to show you what's been going on since I haven't done a video in a little bit. This is, this is, I know your name, Mary Beth. <laughs> and I just put her in this outfit today. This is one I got at Goodwill a long time ago and she hasn't worn it and these are some long socks and they are dark color but hopefully it'll be okay and I put her original shoes back on that she came in so I think she looks really bright and cheery and then I put a little bow in her hair also it's a little clippy yeah so let's see what else I wanted to show you today. I'll go over here and here is little Troy and he is all decked out. Uh, he's one that I took over to my sister's house on Christmas Day because her daughter and son-in-law were coming. They visited from Northern California and they had never seen any of the babies that I made so I brought three and that was quite a load of babies but of course John helps me Papa John helps <laughs> and I got this little hat on Etsy and it's an absolutely beautiful hat from Little Sky Company and it's like double it's, it's like two hats but it's it's all double throughout it's I mean it's one hat but it's very very nice and I got this color so that I can use it for the boys and the girls. But he is the one who wore it. And then I had this real soft uh, onesie for a long time. And I just found matching pants. And of course the little shoes. And so he was a big hit. And let's see what else went on. Let's move over this way. Hi Noah. Hi Naomi. Let's go over here. Look at this little girl. Sorry about the shadow, but it's that time of day and it's cloudy and it rained a lot today. The sun came out a little bit now. But I took her also. Of course she had to go. Yeah. And I found this adorable little dress. I don't know if I've showed you before. But this is the first time that she's worn it. It's a cute little Carter's dress. It's actually a onesie dress. And it comes with a really adorable little jacket. And that was the only one I could find. I wanted a dress for her. And that was the only one they had on Carter's. But I think it's really cute. I thought it was gonna be gray, but it's kind of a soft green, very pale green. So I like that. I think she looks really pretty in it. And then I move over here. I also took Amelia. Had to take Amelia because she's the first baby I ever made. Yeah, and I just dressed her in her original outfit from when she was first born. And it's a little onesie dress. It's a onesie and it has a, a little dress to go over it. And then because it's cold, I put her in this little hat that a friend of mine made a while back. Yeah, so those are the three babies that I took. I put these two in the Moses basket, and John had to carry those because my back and my hips have been a little bit out. So he had to carry those. They were too heavy, and I just carried Troy in. So that's how we did that. And let me see. Well, let's move over this way because I did some changing outfits on the babies. And I spent some time, I think it was last week, last weekend, and I organized the boys' clothes. I pulled out that tub under the bed and then I organized them by size and I put some blue painters masking tape on the inside and labeled what was what 
So, you know, newborns were here. Um, oh, actually, newborn pants, newborn onesies, that kind of thing. So I thought this one was so cute. And it's a little bit chilly, but he has a blanket. And then I fixed his hair yesterday. His hair is really nice, but it does need some water and you have to use a toothbrush every once in a while to keep it from getting matted or too dry looking. So I have something else for him in mind, but I wanted to try that. <laughs> and then I put Nevaeh in this a while back, but I don't think that orange is her color. I don't really like this too much on her. Um, it's a Carter's. It's a little uh, jacket type outfit. And then I had some white pants that I used. It has a cute little gray bow there. But I, you know, I just wasn't really excited about it. And I thought orange isn't her color. So we're going to try something else on her. And let's see. Well, I have another baby I want to show you, but I'm going to put the camera in the tripod because I have some little baby clothes to show you also. And there's little Teyana sitting on the floor. She's been hanging out with me a lot. And I put her in this little preemie onesie. This is a new one that I got from Carter's. And I like it uh, because technically you could put it on a little boy too. And it has little sheep on there. It's so cute. And I think it goes with her complexion really well. So she's been all snuggled up in that. Yeah. There you go. The arms are a little bit long. I have to pull them up. I could roll them up also, but I haven't done that yet. And it has the little mittens. I could use the little mittens too. There we go. Want to stay there? Want to stay there with your little bear? So I had a little Gerber's uh, spree because they were having a really good sale. And you know what? I think I will go up to the changing table so that I can show you these properly. This will be better because these are a three-piece set, so I figured make it easier for you to see. This first set comes with these little pajama bottoms here, and there's a little hat, and a cute little top. And you know who I picture this? This is newborn, and I picture Bella in it. Because of her blonde hair, I think she'll look really cool in that. She'll be a really cute baby, see? I picture her in this outfit. So that's what we'll do next time. And then, and these were only like $5 a piece. So I just washed them, and I wasn't going to wash them, but... They felt kind of odd, and they smelt, you know, kind of odd. And so I'm glad I washed them because they're actually softer, and they kind of fluffed up. Because at first it seemed like they were low quality compared to Carter's, so I like them much better now. And this is also a little jammy set, and it has ducks. It's in gray, and I thought the boys could wear it, but it... They do have purple on the duck, so I don't know. Can boys wear purple? I don't know. But it comes with a cute little hat. And this, and I think this was in the boys section, so I guess they can. Look at how cute it is. I love the sleeves, and it has the soft, uh, very soft color they're organic cotton, and it's very soft. I really like that. So I want to put this on my little Benji boy. And let's see. Let me get this snapped. It came unsnapped in the wash. 
Here's another little set. And it says smile every day. And it's one of the little side snappers. And here's the little bottoms. This one is also a newborn. And I think I would like to put that on Nora. I think she would look really cute in that. And you know how Nora smiles all the time. <laughs> so that'll be for her. And then this one is a zero to three month, and I thought maybe it'll fit Naomi. But it's this real pretty kind of orangey coral color and floral for the bottoms. And then the top here says, love you lots. Isn't that cute? And look at the hat. The hat won't fit her, though because she has a big head, so I'm not sure. We might have to put it on somebody else or save the hat for somebody else, but isn't it cute? I like the big bow. It's so cute. So those were the things from Gerber. And then I have one outfit that I don't think I've shown you. It's in the closet, and I just slipped my mind, so I'll be right back. This is from a Carter sale, and this is newborn, and it has a shirt. This is a shirt and, yeah, a shirt and a little corduroy overall pinafore, I forget what you call them, and it has fruit on it, and then it comes with these uh, leggings or these tights so you know who would look really cute in that? that that would be this baby yeah this baby she would look really cute in that so that's what I'll do for her I just wasn't quite ready to take her out of this outfit with the cute little boots but we'll do that. We'll do that real soon. Yeah. So that is what has been going on as far as clothes. And then the boys did get some toys. So I will show you that. Okay, I stopped the camera because the packaging was crazy and I didn't want to bore you with all that. They were in here, these little construction toys. And in here with shelves and oh first of all it was numbered one and two on the shelves the tabs and then these actually screwed into the toy on the shelves there I've never seen packaging like this before that oh my goodness it's crazy I wonder if I can use those for anything <laughs> But anyway, I wish I could put the camera down further, but that's as far as it goes on the um, stand here. And maybe I could get a different little tripod. Hmm, I have to think about that. But Daddy picked these out because, of course, he loves these things. This is a guy thing. Look at that. Look at how cute. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. Oh my goodness. You guys will have fun with that. And then this little thingamajig here. And what is it? A bulldozer? I can't even think of <laughs> what it, it's called. They probably all do the same thing. How cute. We found these at the grocery store, actually. <laughs> And actually, I think you might like that one because you're little. And of course, I think Daddy wanted this because it has a crane. And Daddy, oh, that sounds wild. Yeah, Daddy's a crane operator, so I think that's why he wanted that. So I bet you. I 
Betcha that Daddy's gonna want to play with this with you. I had to wait till the cats were asleep, though. Oh, and then they go like this. They go like that. Oh, here. Here, you can play with that one. You can play with that one. Let me try this one, Noah. Let me see. Oh, they go also. How fun. <laughs> That's going to be fun. I can see Roscoe trying to chew on them, though. Yeah. We can set up a whole scene with the the other big dump truck they have and the motorhome and just have a really great time and some rocks and all that. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, do you like that? He wants to say hi. <laughs> he wants to say hi for the camera. Yeah. And Noah. And Noah's so cute. He has a watch. A little old Casio watch that Daddy didn't want, so it's his now. Yeah. It's all for him. So we've been having a lot of fun with these babies, I tell you what. And you know what? Also, I got to hold a real baby is so exciting. I haven't held a real one in a long time. But one of my customers had a baby girl five months ago. And the first time she'd been in the store since she had the baby, I'd seen pictures of her on Instagram though. And she's this cute little petite thing. Not a lot of hair. Uh, but I put my arms out and she came to me. And it was so Oh my goodness, it felt so good. And she was going after my glasses with her little hands. Just adorable. And then it really made me miss my nieces and nephews when they were little. And I thought, man, I wish my sisters could have babies. <laughs> oh, it was just wonderful. So, anyway, that's kind of what's been going on. Just busy working and playing with the dolls. And I'm not going to do a long video today, but we will come back. And also very shortly, I have a new doll coming that is different. She's not a baby doll, but she's from Lauren's, that brand, from Spain. And I got her from a distributor here in the U.S., Samantha's Dolls and Collectibles. So first time I'd ever ordered from that company, so we'll see how that goes. And I don't know the ETA on that. But I did have to order some clothes for her from somewhere else. So I'm not going to do a lot of clothes and changing with her. But I did get a couple little outfits. So that'll be fun. It's like something different. I like to diversify a little bit with my dolls. So I'm going to do some changing. And then I will be back to show you all the new things that the babies are wearing. So thank you so much for stopping by and we love you all and we will see you soon. Say bye. Bye bye.